welcome to this uh, seminar about uh, gas turbine, heavy duty type versus aeroderivative in the oil and gas uh, sector. Uh, my name is Almudena Barreda. I'm a rotating equipment engineer uh, working for the last uh, nine years in Initec, which is a Technicas Reunidas uh, group company. Uh, in the oil and gas sector, mainly in upstream uh, plants where no energy is available, uh, gas turbines are first choice as source of energy. Uh, today we will get an overview over the main characteristics and differences between the two most common use uh, gas turbine in these uh, sectors. So it will allow us to select the better uh, option for depending on the uh, uh, ambient conditions and the service where the gas turbine is going to be involved. A gas turbine is a turbo machine which delivers power following uh, the Brighton cycle. The air gets into the air compressor, is uh, compressed uh, and mixed with the fuel gas that will burn uh, in the combustion chamber, releasing gases at high temperature and pressure that will enter uh, into, t into the uh, turbine, delivering uh, an output power that will drive uh, centrifugal compress well, compressors in general, uh, electrical generators, uh, aircrafts, ships. Uh, generally, a uh, gas turbine has an efficiency around 32%, but this uh, value depends on the type, uh, manufacturer, and model of the gas turbine. For the gas turbine selection, it's important to know how main parameters as efficiency and output power are impacted, for, impacted from other factors as uh, ambient pressure, temperature and relative humidity. These uh, variables are directly related to the air density. Uh, the, comp the air compressor swallows a volume of air, which volume depends on on that air density. So the higher amount of, uh, the higher mass flow uh, is uh, enters into the axial compressor, the bigger uh, mass flow of hot gases will be obtained and uh, the higher power will be delivered by the uh, gas turbine. Under this uh, scenario, uh, the gas power will require less energy uh, in the combustion less energy to get the um, required pressure uh, in the combustion chamber and so the firing temperatures will be lower, improving, well not improving but uh, reducing the, the, um, the wear in the uh, gas turbine. So an increase in the ambient temperature, altitude and relative humidity uh, results in the reduction of the efficiency, reduction in the output power, and consequently a reduction in the life cycle of the gas turbine. The quality of uh, fuel gas uh, uh, depends on factors as the composition, the heat rate, uh, the corrosive components, water content. The higher heat rate uh, of the fuel gas the higher uh, output power will be delivered by the gas turbine. <coughs> the efficiency of a gas turbine uh, depends as well on the firing temperatures of the reached in the combustion section. The higher fire temperatures uh, will give us a higher operating, uh, a higher output power. Unfortunately, these uh, firing temperatures depend on the uh, design temperature of the materials used in the combustion section and in the hot gas bath area. Many companies are studying new materials and alloys uh, trying to increase this design temperature in order to allow the gas turbine fire at higher uh, temperatures to increase in that way the efficiency of the gas turbine. 